Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Stoked on Spokes. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at two Silka products that they sent out earlier this year for review. I included them in my Every Ride Carry. I've been using them ever since. And today, I'm gonna to share some thoughts on them. Now I am reviewing two products and putting it into one video. So if you're just interested in the pump, which we will talk about later on in this video, I will include the timestamp in the description below so you can go straight to that part if you wish to skip the seat pack, but I wouldn't if I were you, cause this is a nice little seat bag. Okay, so we'll start with the Silka Matone. Now they do have a larger Silka Matone. Before I got this one, they didn't. This was the only Silka Matone they have. So this is the original Silka Matone, not the large, just to make sure we're clear on the size. I think this size is perfect for everything I need it to be. And, uh, yeah, let's break into it and see what's inside and then we'll talk about its features. So first feature is the BOA closure system. Now I thought this was kind of weird at first, but it actually works incredibly well. It keeps it very tight on the seat rails. The integrity of the system isn't compromised over time. What I mean by that is a lot of saddlebags use a Velcro closure or a hook and loop closure system. But over time, if you can tell, well, a saddlebag gets a lot of moisture and elements thrown at it from the rear tire. That's why the BOA, in my opinion, is a superior system over Velcro or something like that. So you can see the bag works like this. It does have a strap to keep the BOA part of it attached to the bag. You can take it off and this can actually be replaced too if later on down the line it breaks. Yeah, it's just like that. It's got a nice waterproof zipper and the bag doesn't claim to be waterproof, but it does have some nice material up front and this waterproof zipper. I haven't had any issues with water getting into the bag. So once I open the bag, I have my multi-tool here. I have my wolf tooth chain tool. I have a tube and a spare derailleur hanger for the Kona Rove. Well, I also got some Pedro's tire levers in there. So it fits quite a lot of stuff. And these are things that hopefully in a ride I wouldn't need. If anything, I might need my multi-tool, but uh, overall you're expecting not to use a tube, tire levers, derailleur hanger, anything like that on your ride. To be honest, the construction of this pack for what it's worth, $50, is well worth it in my opinion. One of the reasons I prefer a bag like this over a tool roll for a saddle bag is that you can access your multi-tool without having to take the whole roll out. So if you open the bow system and you unzip, this could be on your saddle and you could still get your multi-tool out to use it and then shove it back in and close it. Overall, I'm very satisfied with the Silka Matone. I don't have any troubles with it. It's there when I need it to be and holds all my essential goods without taking up any extra space in my bar bag or frame bag. So highly recommend the Silka Matone. If you need a little bit more space, you can get the larger version of the Silka Matone to get you where you need to be. Let's uh, take a look at the Silka Pocket Impero. So this is the Silka Pocket Impero. This is the smaller version to the Silka Impero which is their frame pump. So while I've had many pumps in the past, I was interested in the Pocket Impero because of its size. The mini pump that I used to have or that I have on the Bullet now is about this big. So a little bit bigger than my handlebar bag width or my little frame bag width or length. This one fits in both of those bags without having to shove it in diagonally from corner to corner. So no problem with that. I did have a specialized mini pump in the past that was actually smaller than this and I thought that would be the pump that I would keep for ages and ages. The problem with most mini pumps is that they are highly plastic construction. So now the problem with the mini pumps and plastic bits is that as you are pumping up a tire, you're compressing air and then therefore introducing more and more heat into the pump. With the plastic construction of most mini pumps, those little plastic bits would eventually break, warp, bend, uh, anything, and therefore render your pump useless. 
Silco with the Pocket Impero promises to make a long lasting pump. And how they do this is through metal. So this is actually an aluminum pump, aluminum parts up here. They do have this silicone on the top of the pump and it's to protect your hand from the heat as you're pumping. Other than that, most of the parts are metal. I guess there is a rubber gasket in here and then there is a leather gasket within the pump. One of the things I was concerned about with this pump when I first got it is that there is no tab to pull. You just simply insert the press the valve and then start pumping. So there's no tight fit latch or anything like that to make the seam close on it. I thought this was gonna be a concern, but I've used it plenty of times and it works well every time. And it's actually easier to use because there's nothing to think about. So I know some of you might be wondering how effective is this little pump? So I'm going to stop here and pump up some of the tires I have around the house. And yeah, that'll be the result. Okay, so there you have it. First bike I pumped up was the Kona Rove and I'm running 700 by 40 C byways on it at the moment. Pumped them up to about 38 PSI and it took a little over a minute, minute and 10 seconds to be exact. Second bike was the Surly Karate Monkey. I'm running a way bigger tire on that compared to the Rove. I'm running 27.5 by 3.0 Surly Dirt Wizards on that bike and I pumped it up to about 15 PSI and that took about two minutes, a little over two minutes, but uh, yeah, there you have it. So the Silka Pocket Impero is no cheap pump. Coming in at $125, it is an expensive mini pump, but I think you get what you pay for. Like I said, in the past I've owned a specialized mini pump and I think I paid about 60 bucks for it and it lasted about six months before the plastic bits started falling apart. With the Silka Pocket Impero, I've had it for six months now and it's just as good as when I first got it. The thing I like about this pump is that there is replaceable parts. So instead of going out and buying a whole new pump when the gasket breaks, they sell rubber gaskets and they sell the leather gasket inside the pump on their website. So when it's not as effective as it should be, you can just go ahead and replace those bits without getting a whole new pump. The Pocket Impero also comes with the Silka Shield warranty and it's not a two year warranty, it's a 25 year warranty. Now one thing I wish Silka did is if you're already offering 25 years, I just wish they would just say lifetime warranty. It sounds more appealing to me and makes me want to purchase more Silka products if I know that they're gonna be covered for life. A couple of caveats to that warranty though is that the leather gasket and the rubber parts aren't covered with the Silka Shield warranty. So it's just the body, all the aluminum bits. If they ever break or fail, you could send it back and they will replace it. All right, that is it for this video. I have loved using these and I will continue to use these on my every ride carry and when I commute. Silk has been kind enough to provide a 15% off code for all of the viewers. So if you want to use it to purchase anything in the Silka store, it doesn't just have to be these two bits, you can. Linked in the description is the code and a couple more useful videos on the Silka Pocket Impero because they have their own YouTube channel and they make great videos teaching you about the Silka Pocket Impero and other things when it comes to bicycle riding. Thank you guys for watching and thank you to all my patrons on Patreon. I will see you guys in the next one. Till then, remember to stay stoked on Spokes.